Hey guys, I want to share a few things with you this evening. Um, I'm going to try and be really quick. Um, someone's in my ear saying I need to um, be making some QT time. So I'm going to do this real quick. So I went to Publix yesterday. The deal is not on, but I wanted to say um, something about overages. Um, there's a lot of items that you think that you may not use or you may not need, but if it will give you an overage, you will want to use that coupon to your advantage so that you can apply that overage to another item that you want so that you can initially either make that other item free or pay very less out of pocket. I do not have a cat. I have a dog, but Juicy will try these out and if she likes them then they're a keeper it'll be a win-win situation because if she doesn't like them i will give them away i have a doctor that has um cats and i'll give them to him but i don't see why if dogs eat human few human food they can't eat cat food i don't see what the difference is so we're going to try them we got to improvise here so i'm not seeing any deals on no dog treats so if this is what we got to do to get some treats around here, then she'll be eating some cat food. But these were 88 cents a piece, and I had a dollar um, coupon making these um, about a 12, maybe 15 cent. I don't know. Yeah, 12 cent overage. All six of these came out to be a dollar overage, and I applied them to the carefree panty liners. They were $1.07, and I had a coupon for $0.50 cents that doubles to a dollar, making um, these $0.07 cents a piece. But I used the overage for the cat treats to pay for the panty liners so that my out-of-pocket expense would be very little. So I, they owed me $0.21, cents, but after they applied tax and reduced, uh, when they took the $0.21 cents off, my total out of pocket was 32 cents so for the cat treats and for the panty liners I only paid 32 cents I did this video yesterday about the one touch delica Lancet devices the coupons are available on smartsource.com so if you haven't seen that video check that out so I'm not going to go too much into that just see that video and it and it'll tell you everything that's going on with that um, coupon um, I had some register rewards that were expiring that I wanted to go ahead and uh, roll them over to some other deals. Um, I did not need razors, but because the register reward was getting ready to expire, I wanted to get something that was going to give me some register rewards back so I just wouldn't absolutely lose them at all. So I bought the Schick razors that were $6.49 and I used a $3 off coupon. And I gave them the $4 um, register reward. I had to use the uh, uh, holiday bags as a filler, so I got six of them. So after everything was applied, I only paid $0.52 cents out of pocket for the Schick razors and the six bags. Okay, And then I got $2.50 back. I had another $4 register reward. So instead of just going and randomly buying something to drink or getting some uh, chips or something because my register award was getting ready to expire I got something that I know my family would need which is always tissue laundry detergent and paper towels so these were five dollars I didn't have any coupons for this so my out-of-pocket expenses was gonna was a dollar and thirty cents after they took my four dollars register reward so these were um, essentially a dollar and thirty cents after everything so um, just food for thought when you have, you know, rewards that's getting ready to expire. Don't randomly, if you want to, you can, but I wouldn't. I prefer to roll them over to something so I can get something back for, you know, the next week's sale. Okay. Um, really quick. I saw this video on saving with com. She, um, was talking about these Lego, um, Lego toys that's on clearance for 39 cents. These retail 30, I'm sorry, not 30, $3.99. So I got nine of them and they were 39 cents a piece. So I paid $3.51 for these Legos. And we're going to do gift bags. So I'm not going to say we're, I'm going to do them because he's not. But we're going to do gift bags for the students, his students um, at his school. So I thought the bags would be a great way. Um, to complement the uh, 
the Lego, the Ninja Legos. So I think that's a great idea. So right here, I was actually printing coupons off of Target.com, and I saw a video of Miss Ray May. She actually purchased eight of these as well. These are the uh, nightgowns, the camisole night shirts. They're on clearance for $2.98. I printed eight coupons, and I got eight of them. Um, and when I found out that they were actually on clearance, because I did not know, I just felt that $3 for some nightgowns, and I know they always have clearance items that maybe I can walk out with paying not too much. But then her video came, and then she said they were absolutely free because they were $2.98. So I got eight of them, and I used my $3 off coupon, and I paid zero. No tax, no nothing. I just walked out of the door with these. And so I'm going to keep three of them. This is how they look. I'm going to keep three of them for myself because someone said they're tired of seeing me in those old long nightgowns. So maybe this will spice it up a bit. So I'm going to keep three, and I'm going to do gift bags for the nurses at work, do some body soaps you know, some lotions and make some little gift bags out of the other ones that I have. So this is a great stocking stuffer, a very inexpensive um, Christmas Christmas gift. So not, not not too much going on, but you guys go ahead and check that out on Targets.com because the printables were still available today. There are a lot of these on the clearance rack. There's other items, $4, $6, just depending on what your taste is, what you prefer. But, you know, as I always say, I prefer what's 50 cents and under and free is what's best for me. So you guys have a wonderful evening and I will see you guys on another day. Bye.